Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today we've got something Jurassic World related and this is the Jurassic World Dino Escapes Fierce Force Machina Machikasaurus. I'm hoping I have pronounced that right. Um, this is on the Smiths website for £10 but I actually just paid £14 off Amazon. Um, so if you want to pay a little bit more and get your hands on it early, Go on Amazon, it might go down to its re uh, proper retail price of £10, but hopefully it'll be out in the UK properly in Smiths and maybe some other retail places soon. Um, but yeah, this is the Dino Arrival, uh, Dino Escape, sorry, not Dino Arrivals, I've already had that. Um, this is the Dino Escape's Fierce Force, and this is a new species of what Mattel's come out with. Um, of a carnivore. I've actually done a little bit of research on this species because I didn't really know much about it. Um, it looks really cool in like fossil form and there's a few things I want to talk about with this new species because of it's like it looks quite unusual and quite menacing and we're actually getting already a, a second repaint of this in like a burgundy colour and if you hear a noise in the background, that's my dogs, they're playing. And yeah, this is such a cool colouring. And this is the Dana Escapes packaging. It's for Far and Plus and the packaging is just the same as all the others. It's got this real nice sunset in the background and some broken down fence and some nice scenery. I'm not going to go much into it as we've all seen it before. And then the back of the box shows you that it's compatible with the Jurassic World fact. App. So I always show the scan code um, during my review and it's just got a really cool picture of the species on. and also it just shows you that there's a button on the back and it'll just show you the action feature um, and also these are some of the other available figures um, what have come out and I've done a review on these two. I didn't get the Galley Mammoth because I've had loads of Gallimamuses um, and the only reason why I got another Raptor is because this had a new feature with it and I just love the Raptors and it had a new sculpt so check that out. I did a review on this one and I also I want to get another one of this one so I'll have two red and two green and they're really liking the green lately I've noticed there's two green here, slight green on the raptor and then this is green as well and there's some other various green ones as well and yeah there isn't really much more I can say the species just looks very unusual which we'll check that out when we get it out the packaging and the colouring looks really nice as well which we'll check that out when I get it out of the packaging so without further ado I'm going to get this cool figure out of the packaging so everyone, I've got the Mashikasaurus out of the packaging. I've just turned down my light in a little bit so you can see the true colours. Um, it's got some really nice variations of different greens. And I really like it. You can imagine this figure being, well this dinosaur being in like the deepest, darkest of jungles. Or some long grass because, this, because of the variations of different green. And as you can see, it's got a really cool sculpt it's very unusual and quite menacing i know the teeth are quite janky and a few people complained about that but i think they've just done it because it's for ages four and plus so they have to be a bit more dimmer um but it looks quite menacing but it also looks quite darky um it's the similar sizes to the velociraptors and yeah it just looks really really cool the end of it's in it in the face look really nicely sculpted and just gives it that creepy look and the eye is a mustard coloured kind of yellow if you can see there and man's got some little bits of speckling of like that mustard coloured around this bit of the face um, but not on this side as you can see up close it's got some really nice details of scale detailing can really see that really nicely done um, and the eye is really nicely done as well I just love the little indivits around the eye I'm really going into details with this figure because it's a 
new sculpt Mattel's come out with. Um, and you can actually articulate the jaw however you want it. Um, that's the inside of the mouth. Really nicely done. When you open the mouth, the teeth don't look so bad. I think it's just when you close it, it looks a bit weird. But if you're good at customising, you might be able to make these look a little bit sharper or a little bit better. And yeah, I also really like the mustard colouring around this bit of the, jaw, uh, of the jawline and then these little bits of texturings of lumps and bumps. They really think about everything when it comes to sculpt with these figures. So Mattel, you've done an absolutely amazing job on these figures overall. And you've got some really nice details of crease detailing in the top bits of the head here and some little Bikes on the top of the head there. And some just nice bits of scale detail, de detailing. And if you can see on the back, on its back, it's got some of the same spikes what in what go into like a line down the neck, going down to the bit of the span and then it goes into like this like diamond shape and I just think it's so cool how they've done that and you can see it's got some different variations of shades of green so here on the round the tail area it's got like this mossy green and um, then on the back it's got this like brighter green with some stripe detailing had to show on camera but you can see the stripe detailing on the legs what are in like stripes and some nice stripe detailing on the side of the body and then the head is the same color of the tail because you can set, tell that it's a different green I don't know if it's intentional or if it's just because they've tried to just match the body to the head of the head to the body and yeah it just looks really nicely done and what else I really like about this sculpt as well is the little lumps and bumps on the texturing of the legs here you can really see them little stripes now on the sides of the legs there it's got some really nice rib detailing on here and nice muffle um, muscle definition on the arms and the spikes got all the way down to the bottom of the tail and they've actually for the first time well I don't think it's for the first time but if you can see the green paint is nearly all the way down to the end of the tail usually they stop the when they put like a colour on the back they usually put it up to about here but they've actually put it like more further down and it just looks like it'd be really cool camouflaged so it's got like three different types of green like a lighter um, lighter grassy green like a moss green and then like a lime green on the jawline and the claws on the hands and the feet are in green as well they haven't painted them usually sometimes that would really bother me and um, not all the time it didn't bother me but sometimes it does if it's like looks a bit lazy but with this i kind of i'm kind of not mad that they haven't painted the claws because because of it being like such a earthy color and a natural color it blends really nice so it gets away with it but if you wanted to paint them you could easily paint them and yeah the articulation as well is pretty standard. It's got some quite nice crease detailing underneath the belly as well. And the overall sculpt just looks really nice. I also like the neck detailing, the little like crease, like folds and creases in the neck look really cool. So I'm going to show you, show you the articulation now. So, it can move its arms pretty much all the way around. They've got that, it's got that flexibility in the arms as well. 
you can pull out the arms like that and they're on a ball joint and you can rotate them however you want it pretty much like what we've already seen on some of the other figures and then you can articulate the jaw however you want and what is quite funny is it's not a snapping feature usually you'd get a snapping feature with the action feature and um, the action feature button so if you press down it's it will do like an head bobbing <laughs> it looks like it's um dancing but it, you could do some really cool photography with this like it's creeping down or you can have it with its mouth open and like it's ready to attack its prey but it doesn't actually have like a snapping feature which is quite unusual but they haven't added that but I'm not mad, of it, mad at it because I do like to um, articulate the jaw however I want when it comes to doing some photography um, it's got a swivel in the tail it can't move the tail left or right or sad sad and obviously you can move the legs into a running action you can have it crouched down like that nom, 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 nom. but it's quite funny I also like how they sculpted the neck so when you move the neck back up it hides and then you can see the details are sculpted around it <coughs> sorry about that and yeah it's just such a cool figure I absolutely love it and um, I don't know if you can move the thighs you can't move the thighs in and out usually you can you can usually do that unless mine are a bit stuck but I don't think they are and I don't really want to pull it but yeah really cool articulation the action feature is a bit silly when it comes to not being able to do like a snapping action but it's got some really nice movement nonetheless um, and I just love the spike, spike details going down well at the top of the head going down and then they're going to that really cool shape on the back and I love how they always blend the button with the sculpt so you can't really see it and there isn't really much more I can say I'm going to just do the scan code now so there is the scan code so you can pause away and scan away. There's the Jurassic World symbol there. I think the colour of it just looks absolutely awesome. And there isn't much more I can say. I just think it's nice that we've got another new species. Um, well not a new species but Mattel's come out with a new species of a new sculpt and a new dinosaur for us to collect. And Mattel's always doing so well with these figures. And I have actually got a few more Jurassic World stuff coming up soon. So please like and subscribe to my channel for more toy related stuff. And if you like toy photography or um, want to know more about my channel, follow me on my Instagram, which is Liam underscore Magpie. Because I do a lot of different toys on my channel from Pokemon. I even do Sylvanian Families, I do Jurassic World, Harry Potter stuff, I do a, a big mix range and from like cutesy toys to more action figure toys and yeah the but Jurassic World's like my main and Pokemon's like my main so please follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my channel it will really help me. And I hope you enjoyed this review and hopefully it'll be out properly in the UK. I know it's on out, out in Amazon and I know it's on the Smiths website and it might be in other retail places soon. I think it's just so cool. But my scale to 1 to 10 for this figure is a definitely 10 out of 10. Even though the teeth could do with looking a little bit sharper, it's still a 10 out of 10. I think the sculpt is a 10 out of 10. The coloured scheme is a 10 out of 10. I know we've had look, the, Mattel's going through like a green phase at the moment. Um, or like a dark blue phase. Or like a blackish grey colour phase. But coloured scheme 10 out of 10. 
the articulation 10 out of 10 and the action feature i'd give that a 9 out of 10 just because it's a bit funny but it's still really cool and it's definitely worth adding to your Jurassic World collection. So I am Lee Magpie. Like and subscribe to my channel for more toy related stuff. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys.